I'm Vicky and this is my honest review of the Gusto recipe delivery box. I'm going to be sharing with you how it works, what I got, whether the meals were any good and how do the costs stack up against supermarket costs. Basically, is it value for money? Is it worth giving it a go? First of all, how does Gusto work? This is a recipe delivery service. They will send you all of the ingredients you need to put together specific recipes, which you can choose from their website. When you sign up to Gusto, you can pick which delivery day you'd like your box to arrive. You can pick frequency, how often you want to actually receive a box. And then you also pick the number of meals you want in a box and how many people you'll be serving. You can choose between two and five meals in a box for up to four people. The big box you can get is four meals for four people. On this occasion to try this box I ordered four meals for four people. I also because this was a introductory price which Gusto offers on its website to its new customers it cost me significantly less than a normal Gusto box and we're going to go through all of the costings in this video. So once you've signed up and you have chosen the number of meals that you want and when you want them delivered, you can then go through and pick your meals. This is the really, really fun part. When I chose our Gusto box, there were 80 meals available on the website. When you're on the website picking out your recipes, you can look at everything or you can browse by categories such as save and savor. So these are their cheapest meals. Some of the meals are a little bit more expensive than others quick and easy, so midweek meals that are super convenient, calorie controlled, everyday favourites, 10 minute meals prepped in five, chicken, beef and pork, fish, vegetarian, plant-based, so lots of options there. There are also air fryer specific recipes, which I think is really great because the obviously air fryers are all the rage at the moment. When your Gusto box arrives, all of the fresh ingredients that you need to cook your tasty meals that you have chosen are there. For our meals that came with this box, we chose the hoisin pork wraps, the oven baked Greek cheese, tomato and chicken farfelli, the sweet and sour chicken with rice and the warming chicken boona with rice and naan bread. When your Gusto box arrived, everything that you need to cook those meals is included in there, apart from obviously your cooking utensils, your utensils, your pots, your pans, and also cooking oils. So you'll need to have vegetable oil, olive oil. They also don't include seasoning, so salt and pepper is something that you will need to have at home. You can really see that Gusto has tried to make as much of the packaging recyclable as possible. Not all of it is recyclable. There are some little plastic packages of things like the mayonnaise that aren't recyclable. But there is, as you can see, a lot of paper and card in here. And you really get the sense they have made a lot of effort to make as much of the packaging recyclable as possible. There were two ice packs included in our Gusto box, keeping everything nice and chilled. All of the ingredients were great, super fresh. They all looked fine. I suppose my only complaint would be that I felt that the cherry tomatoes that came for our um, a couple of our dishes were a little bit green. They weren't really, if I'd seen them in a supermarket, they weren't necessarily the pot of cherry tomatoes that I would have selected. But for the purposes of placing in a dish and cooking in a sauce, they were absolutely fine. The, the taste was okay. I just felt that they weren't the highest quality cherry tomatoes that I'd ever seen. So when you get your Gusto delivery box, everything is mixed in together all higgledy-piggledy. Um, the meat is sort of together, all of your little packages with things like your rice wine vinegar, um, various sauces, ketchups and stuff that you need to make your sauces and your recipes that's all in all together um so first thing to do is to separate everything out which took me probably about 15 minutes just because i wanted to have all of my recipe pieces together uh just so i was clear on what went with what and if you look at the recipe card it does set out exactly what ingredients it does set out exactly what ingredients you need so just by looking at the recipe card and going through your box you can figure out which items go with which recipe. So the first thing I did when unboxing this box is just to make sure that everything was there that I needed for all of the recipes. So I put them all into piles based on the recipe that they belong to. This recipe box arrived on a Tuesday. The use by dates for the meat were on the Sunday and the Monday. So pretty good. I had quite a few days in order to use up these four meals. It was plenty of time. So let's just take a closer look at the meals that I actually picked. All of them worked out, I would say. There wasn't any that I felt were a bit of a culinary disaster. I think the recipes are super easy to follow. I didn't have any problems at all with going through the stages on each of these recipes. I think it is super clear. I consider myself to be a reasonably good home cook. I'm not master chef level at all. I wouldn't be entering myself for anything like that. Um, but I consider myself to be a pretty confident cook. I'm very confident with new recipes. 
I would say this is pretty straightforward. The easiest one to cook was the hoisin pork wraps. It was basically just browning some mince and then adding some sauce. Some of the recipes generated more washing up than others. They varied in terms of the amount of time it actually took to cook these recipes. So some of them took 40 minutes, some of them only took 20 minutes. So very, very varied, but on the whole, I would say all of the recipes were easy to cook and they all produced results that I would say were really, really nice home cooked meals. And as you can see from the images of the meals that I actually ended up producing, I'm pretty pleased with how they look when you compare them to the pictures of the actual recipes on the recipe cards. They, they look like they're supposed to look. At the end of the day, the taste of all of them was really, really nice. I particularly liked the chicken boona, actually. I find that at home curries are really, really difficult. They often come out tasting like overly sweet or they just don't have that flavor that you expect from a curry. This one was really, really good actually. I would really, really rate it and it was pretty straightforward to make. There wasn't too much of a fuss around it. We cooked most of our meals in the week and they all worked out great as midweek meals. I think it's really good that Gusto is very clear on their website how long each of the recipes are gonna to take to cook. They separate out the quick cook options. So if you are someone who is very, very busy in the week, doesn't have a lot of time in the evening to set aside for cooking, you can specify those recipes, you can choose those recipes that don't take that long to cook and are gonna be super convenient for you. So let's talk about costs now and how Gusto compares to buying the ingredients at your supermarket. So obviously we've got to note here that with Gusto, they are providing you with the recipe inspiration. They're providing you with a very lengthy list, 80 recipes that you can choose from. They send you the recipe cards so that you can put it together at home. It's all very um, convenient. They're giving you the inspiration. If you're someone who struggles with inspiration, they're helping you with that. But let's just look at how much it would cost if you were gonna buy these ingredients in a supermarket, just see how the costs stack up. So the first Gusto box, this Gusto box that I've bought, because I had an introductory offer with a discount, it only cost 17 pounds, 14 pence for four meals for four people. The normal price of that box without any discounts at all would be 47 pounds and 85 pence plus a three pound 99 delivery charge. So I went and had a look at Aldi to see how much the ingredients would cost from them. And I worked it out both gram for gram, so exactly how much it would cost you down to like the millimeter and the gram um, that you need for these recipes compared to Gusto. Obviously Gusto is measuring out these ingredients exactly. So I did a gram for gram comparison, but I also did an actual spend because I think you've got to be fair to Gusto here. If you were to buy these ingredients from a supermarket, you would have to buy the whole jar of white wine vinegar. You would have to dry, buy the whole jar of honey. You would have to buy, you know, a big, big bag of rice. Um, I suppose the flip side to that is it means you've got ingredients left over for another day. So it's not like it's money wasted. I'm, I'm just saying like when you compare the price, you've just got to take that into account. So on a gram for gram spend, <clears throat> At Aldi, these ingredients would have cost me £29.54. So compared to the introductory price, um, £17.14, that's a lot more expensive. However, compared to the normal price, the normal price, the supermarket works out way cheaper. But what about the actual spend? If I went to the supermarket saying, hey, I wanna cook these four recipes, I don't have any of the ingredients in my house at all, what's it gonna cost me? So this includes buying the big jar of soy sauce, buying the, the thing of mayonnaise, assuming that I have nothing at all, that spend would be 47 pounds and 37 pence. Again, that's based on Aldi, that's based on um, my calculation based on these four recipes. Obviously this may vary from recipe to recipe. This is just for these this specific box. So when you compare that then to the box, 47 pound 85 plus three pound 99 delivery, the box still works out more expensive, but it's much, much closer. And again, what Gusto is selling you here is the ideas, the inspiration, and the convenience of delivering it to your home. All of the recipe cards are really, really easy to follow. You get a nice big picture showing you what it should look like. You've got nutritional information here. You've got exactly what ingredients you need. Um, they've got the amounts there. Um, these set out ingredients for two. You have to double the ingredients if you've ordered a box for four. Um, but that's not a problem. It, it, it's not that hard um, to do, assuming you're reasonably sound at maths. <laughs> it's not too challenging. Um, and then you get step-by-step -step guide with pictures as well to what exactly you need to do. 
very easy to follow. Um, I think this is really accessible. And then of course, don't forget that you've now got this recipe card. This is your recipe card. So there's nothing stopping you. If you really loved this recipe, but you don't want a gusto box again, or maybe you want to skip one for a couple of months, you can go to the supermarket and just buy the ingredients. There's nothing here that would not be available at your own supermarket. Basil, tomato paste, chicken stock, dried chili flakes, all of these things are things that you can easy buy at the supermarket. So if you find a recipe you love, you can just recreate it again, buying the ingredients yourself. What are the pros and cons then of the Gusto recipe box? Well, I would say the pros are that it's a really fun way to try brand new recipes. It's got a decent, decent selection of different meals. You've even got air fryer recipes on here. You're not having to buy whole jars of vinegars and sauces that you're not gonna use. I don't know about you, but my cupboards are just awash with jars of you know various different types of vinegars and sauces that I didn't get around to finishing using because I just cooked this one re recipe once or twice and it only needs a tiny amount so it is very good that you get the exact quantities and you're not clogging up your cupboards with all these jars of sauces that is great it makes cooking from scratch very very easy if you're someone who loves to cook your meals from scratch but you're a bit short on the ideas Gusto has the ideas for you and the website is incredibly easy to use and there's great flexibility on there. You can pause your subscription, you can skip a week, you can change your delivery date, you can change the frequency that you have the box, you can change the size of the box. So they really do make it very, very easy for you to manage that subscription and cancelling the subscription is easy too, which I think is really important. What about the cons then? Well, if I'm going to be nitpicky, everything arrives all mixed up in the box and it does take a bit of time to pull everything out when you've got one of the big boxes, pull everything out, separate it out, figure out what goes with what. So it's maybe like 15 minutes, but I guess when you arrive home from any supermarket shop, you're gonna have to put the stuff away. So it, it just feels like a bit of an extra step when you've got all these tiny little packages that you need to separate out. Another con would be that you do lose a degree of flexibility. If you're someone who, normally likes to go and buy the meal that you're going to eat today on the day that you're going to eat it you've really got to plan ahead with gusto so my delivery day was on a tuesday and i had to pick my meals for the next box by midday on the saturday so you've got to plan in advance and you've got to know that when that box arrives you've got like maybe about a week to eat those meals you've got to know that you're definitely committed to eating those meals in that week so and otherwise things are going to go off obviously meat you can freeze but things like the veg and stuff and the herbs fresh herbs like basil isn't necessarily going to freeze well so you've got to take that into consideration as I showed you with my working out on how the costs stack up against the supermarket, it can be that actually Gusto does work out more expensive. As I said, Gusto is selling you meal ideas and convenience. So I suppose in a way you would expect it to be more pricey, but if you are on a food budget, you're gonna find it much easier to save money on food if you buy your food direct from the supermarket. That is particularly the case if you buy a smaller Gusto box. So the best value Gusto box is the four meals for four people. However, if you buy only two meals for two people, the cost per serving goes up. So the box for four meals for four people costs £2.99 per serving. Two meals for two people is £6.25 per serving. So that's more than double. So it's quite a significant difference there. So on the whole, what did I think of Gusto? I really, really enjoyed the meals. It was nice having something different. I always like to try new meals and I really, really enjoy cooking. If you're someone who loves to cook and try new meals, it's a really, really convenient way to do that. In terms of the price, obviously, as I've said, it does work out a little bit more expensive than going to your supermarket. Maybe Gusto is something that you could just try every other month or once a month, whatever, every now and then. You can pause your subscription and resume your subscription as and when you like. And I have to say with that introductory offer, the money that you get off that first box, it does make it a lot cheaper than buying those ingredients at the supermarket. So if you are happy to commit to these meals uh, for the week ahead, if you're happy to pick some meals and commit to them, then I say go for it, give it a try. The four meals for four people box definitely worked out cheaper for me than if I had bought the same meals at the supermarket with that introductory price. So I think that Gusto is a recipe box that you will really, really enjoy trying. Really, really, really loved it. However, just keep an eye on those prices. Once that introductory price goes away, the cost does go up and it does become le much less competitive than the supermarket. And if you're on a budget, then you may want to either not continue with Gusto or just reduce your frequency down so that it's a once in a while treat that you try. I really hope you enjoyed my Gusto review. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.